Chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo has been likened to the roar of a lion a practice that unlocks the deepest potential within a person. But what makes this specific practice so powerful? What is it about this simple phrase that has transformed the lives of millions over the centuries, empowering them to overcome challenges, unlock happiness, and manifest their true potential? At its heart, Nam Myoho Renge Kyo is a direct connection to the law of the universe. When Nichiren Daishonin declared that chanting this phrase could bring forth one's inherent Buddha nature, he was giving people a powerful tool that doesn't rely on external circumstances, rituals, or intermediaries. The Lotus Sutra, he said, is the king of all sutras, true and correct in both word and principle. In it, Shakyamuni Buddha revealed that all beings possess the potential for enlightenment. Chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo is the act of manifesting that truth. The power of the law. At first glance, chanting these words might seem simple, but their significance runs deep. The phrase Nam Myoho Renge Kyo embodies the entirety of the mystic law. Nam means devotion, a vow to align with the highest law of life. Myoho refers to the mystic law itself, the eternal and unchanging principle that governs all of existence. Renge, which means lotus flower, symbolizes cause and effect specifically the simultaneity of cause and effect. Just as the lotus blooms and seeds at the same time, chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo produces immediate changes in our lives, even if those changes are not always visible at first. Finally, Kyo signifies the interconnectedness of life and sound, the rhythm of the universe itself. In Nichiren's own words, if you chant Myoho Renge Kyo with deep faith in this principle, you will surely attain Buddhahood in this lifetime. These words are a reminder that we already possess the qualities of a Buddha wisdom, courage, compassion but it is through chanting that we bring them to the surface. This practice is not about looking outward for solutions or waiting for life to improve, it's about transforming from within. Overcoming Obstacles and Suffering one of the most empowering aspects of chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo is its ability to help us overcome obstacles, whether they are external challenges or internal struggles. Nichiren Daishonin himself faced tremendous persecution throughout his life, yet he remained steadfast in his practice, never wavering in his belief in the mystic law. He once wrote, Suffer what there is to suffer, enjoy what there is to enjoy. Regard both suffering and joy as facts of life, and continue chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. This teaching highlights an important point. Life is not free from suffering. But through chanting, we can change the way we face suffering. Rather than being crushed by difficulties, we can use them as fuel for our growth. In the same way that a lotus flower blooms in the muddy waters, our most challenging circumstances can become the very soil from which we develop strength, wisdom, and compassion. The act of chanting allows us to shift our perspective, to see obstacles as opportunities for transformation rather than as barriers to happiness. This idea is deeply rooted in the principle of cause and effect. Every time we chant, we create a cause that produces an effect in our lives. When we face hardship, it can feel like we are stuck in a cycle of negativity. But by chanting, we create a new cause one that aligns with the positive potential inherent in the universe. This shifts the momentum of our life from suffering to hope, from doubt to confidence. Unlocking the Buddha nature, the real power of chanting lies in its ability to reveal our Buddha nature. According to the Lotus Sutra, all living beings possess this Buddha nature, which is the pure, awakened state of life. However, it is often clouded by delusions, negativity, or self-doubt. Chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo is like polishing a mirror it wipes away the dirt and grime that obscure our true nature, allowing us to reflect our highest potential. Nichiren Daishonin emphasized the importance of chanting as a means of activating this latent Buddhahood. He taught that enlightenment is not some distant goal to be achieved after many lifetimes of practice, but something we can experience here and now. The Lotus Sutra is the teaching of supreme enlightenment, he wrote, and the chanting of its title, Nam Myoho Renge Kyo, is the direct path to this realization. When we chant, we call forth the wisdom and courage needed to navigate life's challenges. We tap into a reservoir of strength that allows us to live with greater purpose and clarity. This awakening of the Buddha nature is not a mystical experience reserved for a chosen few. 
It is the most natural expression of our life when we align ourselves with the rhythm of the universe. The Lotus Sutra teaches that even the most ordinary person regardless of their past mistakes or present circumstances can attain enlightenment through faith and practice. Chanting is the key that unlocks this potential, a practice for everyday life. One of the remarkable things about chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo is its accessibility. It does not require seclusion, special equipment, or advanced training. It can be done anywhere, at any time, by anyone. Whether we are in the midst of a crisis or simply going about our daily routine, we can chant and tap into the transformative power of the mystic law. Nichiren's teachings remind us that Buddhahood is not separate from daily life. In fact, it is through our everyday experiences that we express our enlightenment. Chanting allows us to bring our highest potential into everything we do, whether it's our work, relationships, or personal goals. As Nichiren wrote, there is no true happiness for human beings other than chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo. This practice is a way of living in harmony with the deepest truths of existence, allowing us to experience fulfillment and joy, no matter what circumstances we face. This is not to say that chanting is a magic solution to all of life's problems. It is not a passive practice that removes obstacles for us. Rather, it empowers us to face and overcome those obstacles with wisdom and resilience. When we chant with determination and faith, we awaken the Buddha nature within us, and we naturally begin to take the right actions, make better decisions, and attract positive circumstances into our lives. Chanting as a habit, when people first begin chanting, they often do so out of curiosity or hope for a specific benefit perhaps they are facing a difficult situation or seeking a new direction in life. But over time, chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo becomes more than just a tool for problem solving. It becomes a habit, a daily practice that sustains and uplifts the practitioner. The beauty of this habit is that it is both simple and profound. Chanting requires no special skill yet it has the power to unlock the highest potential within us. As we chant, we align ourselves with the mystic law, and this alignment begins to permeate every aspect of our lives. Our thoughts, words, and actions begin to reflect our Buddha nature, and we start to experience a deeper sense of purpose and fulfillment. Moreover, chanting is a habit that continually strengthens and deepens over time. The more we chant, the more we cultivate our Buddhahood, it is like exercising a muscle each repetition builds our inner strength and clarity. Nichiren Daishonin wrote, Even a single utterance of Nam Myoho Renge Kyo is powerful enough to transform the most ingrained negative karma. By making chanting a regular part of our lives, we set in motion a process of transformation that leads to lasting happiness and fulfillment. The ultimate habit for transformation in a world where people are constantly searching for new habits to improve their lives whether it's through diet, exercise, or mindfulness chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo stands out as a practice that addresses the root of all transformation, the inner self. While many habits focus on external behaviors, chanting transforms the core of who we are, helping us to align with the universal law of life. Through this practice, we can tap into an unlimited source of wisdom, courage, and compassion. We can face any challenge with the confidence that we possess the ability to overcome it. And most importantly, we can live each day with a sense of purpose and connection to the deeper truths of existence. In the Lotus Sutra, Shakyamuni Buddha declared, All living beings have the potential to become Buddhas. Chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo is the key to unlocking that potential. It is a habit that not only changes our lives but also empowers us to change the world around us. As we chant, we bring forth the highest qualities of life wisdom, courage, compassion and we create a ripple effect that touches everyone we encounter. The practice of chanting Nam Myoho Renge Kyo could very well be the most powerful habit you'll ever start. It is a simple yet profound way to transform your life, to unlock your highest potential, and to connect with the limitless power of the universe.